Hello, hello. Welcome back, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. This is the new show starting on Monday in the last week of pre-intermediate number two. <laughs> okay, hello, Rodrigo, how are you? Fine, 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 very happy, always. Ah, nice, the attitude is the first, right? Yeah. You have problems, you have to pay in the bank, but you are happy. <laughs> yes, you get the 50% of the result. Okay, nice. That's it, right? Everybody has problems, everybody has work, everybody has, but the attitude is the first. If not, you won't enjoy the life, right? Yeah, the more important thing is that I get in my pocket the model number three of the pre-intermediate. Okay. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, you're right. Hey, Mr. Campos, Rolando, how are you? How are you, boy? Rolando, hello. Oh, Rolando is still sleeping, right? Hilda, hello, Hilda. How's it going? Hello, sir. Hey, it's good. Oh, and nice. you? I'm fine. A very tired day, a very hard day, but I'm here, happy, right? Yes. Because me too. <laughs> okay, I imagine, I imagine. Hey, Victor, yeah. welcome, Victor. Hello, teacher. It's a oh. pleasure to see you. Me too, me too. I don't see you, but I imagine you are happy now. <laughs> yes, okay. teacher. Yes. Janari, hello, Janari. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure, right? Good teacher. Okay, Mr. Hill, Francisco. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. It's a pleasure. And finally, Vicky, Vicky Martinez. Good evening, teacher. Miss Martinez, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure, too. <laughs> okay. Now, let's start right now because uh, we have the last section this week. Imagine the last section, section number five, right? Hey, Juan Alfonso. The Italian boy. <laughs> Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Yes, I when I see your name, I only think in Italy, right? In Italy, is, my goodness, <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> I am in love of Italy, right? Yes. Okay, good. Now let's start with uh, the PowerPoint presentation class. And today we're going to learn about a very difficult topic, the present perfect. My goodness. Yes. Now. Pre-intermediate module number two. Ah, number, excuse me, also, also. Excuse me, class, just a second, right? Module two, right? Okay, yes. Okay, now. Welcome to pre-intermediate module two. We're going to talk about, uh, asking our families. No, this is not the topic. Excuse me. <clears throat> Excuse me, right? The topic is a visit to New, New Orleans. A visit to New Orleans, New Orleans, right? And the present perfect. Yes. Okay. I'm sorry for the also. Now let's start. A visit to New Orleans and present perfect, right? Okay. So to start, we're going to learn the objective, of course, as we always do. Janari, can you read the objective for this class, please? Okay, teacher. In this session, we will learn about present perfect. Present perfect is put in practice during the, the conversation. Good. So we're going to see a conversation. And in the conversation, they're practicing the present perfect, right? Okay. And in the conversation, we have the, the next vocabulary. A few. Already. Riverboat tour. T. 
take it easy being done, right? This is the vocabulary. Now, a few it's unos cuantos, right? Already is ya, ya, already, ya. I have already done my homework. Ya hice mi tarea, right? Riverboat tour is a tour in a boat in any river, for example, in Mississippi River, in New Orleans, right? Also, it's a riverboat tour. In France, excuse me to talk about France, but I, when I visit Paris, I couldn't get the riverboat tour, but I saw the boats in the, the River Sena, el Rio Sena, right? El Rio Sena. Solo que cuando yo llegué a París, no estaba cenando el río. <laughs> the Sena River, right? So you can take a riverboat tour there. Take it easy, come on, take it easy. Like, agarrarla suave, relajate, relax. Let's take it easy. Being is the past participle of there to be. So you say estado, right? Sido. Okay, don is hecho. We don't, we don't say asido, <laughs> no, hecho. And written is, for example, I have ridden a horse. Yo he montado un caballo. A horse, right? Okay. Uh, any questions so far about the vocabulary? Okay, so let's go to the conversation, right? Uh, the conversation is a visit to New Orleans. New Orleans, like they say, right? New Orleans. Okay, and listen, Jan and Tol are talking about their experiences in, in New Orleans, right? Jan says, it's great to see you, Tol. Have you been in New Orleans long? And Tol says, no, not really. Just a few days. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, well. How about a riverboat tour? Uh, I have already done that too. Have you ridden a street car? There's a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know. I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Like you say, los pies me están matando, right? My feet are killing me. Good. Do you have questions about vocabulary in this conversation class? Do you? No, okay. Listen, questions? Cricket, cricket, cr no, okay, good, no questions. Teacher, Now, please, yes, tell me. La traducción de jazz. Ah, de jazz. Interesting. Music, eh, jazz. I know, but no, no, I haven't, I haven't questioned myself about the meaning in Spanish. No, I, I don't know, like rock, like salsa. I, I think it doesn't have a translation, right? But it's interesting to, to, I will look in the, in the San Google, right? <laughs> In San Google, right? Okay. Uh, any other question? No questions? Okay. So we're going to practice. Yes, tell me. What is written or write, writing? No, uh, written. Have you written? It's, written. It's yes. Montado, montarse. Ah, uh, okay. Montarse, right? Oh, okay. eh, Thank you. Just, just, no. No, sorry, there is no translation for jazz. Sorry, no, jazz is jazz in Spanish, in English, wherever. <laughs> It's a style of music, right? And yeah. listen, reading, you can, you can, uh, you can ride because the, the, the very ride. You can ride a horse, a donkey, a bicycle, a motorcycle. Uh, camel, your big brother, <laughs> your big brother, right? Okay, a cucuche, we say, yo me cucuche, guys. 
So written, right? Okay, any other question? Okie dokie, now please repeat after me. It's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? No, not really. Just a few days. I can't wait to show you the city. I can't wait. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Have you been? Yet? Yeah. I've. I've. I've, I've already been to one. Been, been. I have already been to one. Oh, well, how about a river boat tour? About, ba, ba, ba about river river boat river boat how about a river boat tour uh i've already done that too i've Dave, you've. Have you ridden a street? Sorry, have you ridden in a street car? Have you ridden an, in a street car? Have you? Have you ridden street car? Have you ridden in a street car? There a lot of fun. There are a lot of fun. Actually, actually, that's how I got here today. That's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? Is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. Take it easy. I really just want, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. My feet are killing me. Okay, now you're gonna help me with the pronunciation. I will uh, read one expression and only one student, one by one, or you're going to repeat after me, right? Let's just start with Silvia, please. Only you, Silvia, repeat. It's great yes. to see you, Tall. It's great to see you, Tall. Janari, have you been in New Orleans long? Have you been in New Orleans, New Orleans long? Francisco, <clears throat> no, not really, just a few days. No, not really, just a few days. Vicky, I, sorry, uh, uh, yes. I can't wait to show you the city. I can't wait to show you the city. Juan Alfonso, have you been to a jazz club yet? Have you been to a jazz club yet? Thank you. Now, Rodrigo, yeah, I've already been to one. Yeah, I've already been to one. 
Eh, Rolando, o. Oh. O. Oh. Yeah, ah, ok. Good <laughs> no, no, come on. Well, how about a riverboat tour, Rolando? How uh -huh. about a riverboat tour? Ok, thank you. And uh, Abel, please. Oh, I've already done that too. Oh, I've already done that too. Thank you. Now, Roberto. Have you ridden in a streetcar? Have you ridden in a streetcar? Good, good pronunciation. Now, Claudia Ramos, they're a lot of fun. They're a lot of fun. Okie dokie. Now, Hilda, please. Uh, actually, that's how I got here today. Actually, that's how I got here today. Good. Victor? No, no, no ha repetido, Victor. Okay, now, please. No, teacher. Well, is there anything you want to do? Well, is there anything you want to do? Okay, thank you. Now, let me see. Uh, Francisco, please. Again, right? Um, you know, I really just want to take it easy. You know, I really just want to take it easy. Take it? Take it. Take, take it easy. Take it easy. Okay, good. And Hilda, please, let's finish with you again, please. My feet are killing me. My feet are killing me. Good, that's it, right? Good. So notice the expressions. Notice, have you been? Mm -hmm. Have you been? Again, right? And then I have already been. I have already done. Have you written? Hmm? So these sentences are what we know as a present perfect, right? Present perfect. So this is the second part of the class, the present perfect, right? Let's start reading the objective, please. Uh, let me see. Uh, Brenda, please. Brenda, can you read the objective, please? In this session, we will study the present perfect with already and yet. Ask and answer question using the present perfect with regular and irregular past participle. For present perfect, we will use okay. Thank you. Very good. And listen, Brenda, study. 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 Mm -hmm. study. Good. Good. That's it, right? Now let's start. Talking about the present perfect. When do we use the present perfect? Okay. We use the present perfect to describe indefinite time in the past, right? So the present perfect has the same use of the simple past with the only difference that you don't uh, specify the time, right? For example, in the simple past, I say, I went to La Unión yesterday. So I say yesterday. I, I visited Paris in 2003, right? Beautiful. Paris is beautiful, yes. Especially the Eiffel Tower, you know? So it's simple past. But when you use the present perfect, you don't use the specific time. You only say that happened in the past. Right? I have visited the Eiffel Tower, for example, right? I have visited the Louvre Museum, the Louvre Museum, right? I have visited, but I don't say when. For example, it's incorrect to say, I visited the Louvre Museum in 2003. And no, incorrect. Only I have visited the Louvre Museum. Cling. Why? Because the time in the present perfect is indefinite. Only you say that happened. Solo decimos que pasó. Lo que pasó, pasó, right? And that's it, right? No more. Now, the second one is action which began in the past and continue in the present, right? And probably will continue in the future. For example, I have worked in 
inglés corporativo for one year, for example, right? Or I have worked in, in inglés corporativo, only on it, right? I work in the past, I worked in the past, I am working right now, and probably, if the colocho permit, right, I will continue working in inglés corporativo, right? So it's an action that comes from the past, is true in the present, and probably will continue in the future, right? Also, we use the past, uh, the present perfect to describe repeated actions, right? In a specific period of, of time. For example, I, I, I say, I have taken, um, I, have, I have drunk uh, chocolate three times this week, right? He tomado chocolate tres veces esta semana, right? I have uh, drunk chocolate, chocolate, right? Some people say, it's December, we have to drink special drinks, you know? You know what I mean, right? But no, chocolate only, please. Tea, water, huh? <laughs> so I have drunk chocolate three times this week, three times. So it's a repeated action, okay? Good, and uh, for the use of present perfect, you use the auxiliary have and has in a past participle, right? When do you use, when do you use have? You use have for I, you, they, we, right? And we use has for, oops, sorry. Estamos aprendiendo, estamos aprendiendo a escribir. <laughs> sorry. For uh, she, he, and it, right? Have is used for I, so you say I have. You have, they have, we have. She has, he has, it has. And remember that in this case, it doesn't mean yo tengo. Tengo, tengo, tengo. Tú no tienes nada. Yo tengo tres ovejas, right? No, no, no. Uh -uh. Eh. It's not tengo. No, it's eh, hemos, as. Tú ya has comido periway, for example, right? Have you eaten periway? Have you eaten kusuko? Right? So it's as, hemos, an, right? That's the meaning of have and has. Understand? Of course, it's a verb. También podemos usarlo como verbo principal, pero en este contexto es el auxiliar. Okay? Good. Let's continue with the presentation. Ooh, ah, yes. Okay, then we have uh, one example of an affirmative sentence. We have met them. Ya los hemos conocido, ya los hemos encontrado a ellos, right? Okay. Or oh, she has called me. Ella ya me ha llamado. Notice two things, right? Number one, that you don't say here, uh, we have met them last week or yesterday or in 2019. No, 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 no. Don't say the time. It's not, we don't use the, the, the specific time in, in, in present perfect. We don't use the specific time, right? Okay, good. Number two, we use have for we and we use has for she, right? And we use a past participle, right? What is a past participle verb? A past participle verb is uh, what we know in Spanish like ado, ido, right? Yo he conocido, yo he llamado, yo he volado, yo he corrido, yo he tomado. Chocolate, eh? Chocolate. Yes, only chocolate. So you see? So that ado ido is what we know as the past party, right? Past party, right? Okay? Pasado participio. And then the complement, right? Good. Negative. When do we use negative? Well, the negative is just the same form, but you use the word not, right? We have not made lunch. No hemos hecho el almuerzo, ¿verdad? Todavía no. 
And you can make the contraction have plus not haven't. Carlos has not read, no read, read a book. Has not read a book. Carlos no ha leído un libro, right? Or Carlos hasn't, contraction, hasn't read a book, right? Okay. Now, for the regular verbs, the past participle form is the same, exactly the same, the pronunciation and the spelling. Los verbos en pasado participio eh, que son regulares son exactamente de la misma forma y la misma pronunciación que los verbos en pasado simple. De tal forma que yo puedo decir, we worked yesterday. Nosotros trabajamos ayer. And we have worked. Nosotros hemos trabajado, right? So, work can be translated like, trabajamos o trabajé o trabajaron en trabajado. ¿Ok? The two forms. The simple past and the past participle, right? Ok. Good. Any questions so far? Oh, sorry, I have an extra example here. She has not listened that song, right? Good. Any questions so far? No questions? Teacher. Yes, tell me. Este, have or has, este, siempre tienen que ir con el verbo, a la par del verbo cuando estamos en presente de verbo. Yes, listen. Eh, aquí hay una gran excepción en relación al presente simple, el pasado simple, en donde las oraciones afirmativas no llevan el auxiliar. Uh -huh. Pero en cambio el presente perfecto, óigame bien esta, esta regla, en todos aparece. Uh -huh. En afirmativo, negativo, pregunta, respuesta, de todo. En toda oración va el have has, ¿ok? Uh -huh. En todito. ¿Ok? okay. Y también okay. van los pasados participios en todas las oraciones, ¿verdad? Bueno, al menos solo cuando respondemos en respuestas cortas, solo usamos el auxiliar, ¿verdad? Pero de ahí en todas partes vamos a encontrar el auxiliar y el pasado participio. El auxiliar y el pasado participio. Y obviamente siempre un sujeto, ¿verdad? ¿Ok? Siempre. Buena pregunta. Yes. Another question? Any other question? No. Okie dokie. Now let's continue. Uh, talking about the present perfect, right? Okay. Remember I say, right, that we, we have regular verb, right? Tenemos los verbos regulares, right? Uh, and then they are the same form of the simple past. Son la, form, la misma forma de los verbos en pasado, ¿ok? Que ya, por cierto, vimos, ¿verdad? El pasado de los verbos regulares, ¿ok? Eh, que les agregamos ed, le cambiamos la i por la i latina, le doblamos la otra, la, la consonante cuando es consonante vocal o consonante, etcétera, etcétera la misma forma, pero con el, los verbos irregulares, irregular verbs, la cosa cambia, ¿ok? Aquí la cosa está más peluda, listen, because there are no rules, no hay reglas, no rules, no hay reglas, aquí el verbo se pronuncia como caiga, y se escribe como caiga, ¿verdad? Aquí no hay, la única forma que tenemos que hacer es aprenderlo de memoria, ¿Verdad? ¿Ok? ¿Y cómo distinguimos los verbos regulares de los verbos irregulares? Simple. Nos aprendemos de memoria todos los verbos irregulares y los que sobran son los verbos regulares. ¿Ok? Easy, right? Fácil. La única salvedad es que hay como 500 <ríe> verbos irregulares, ¿verdad? Pero lo más común es como unos 150. Sí, no son muchos, ¿verdad? Aquí, por ejemplo, aparecen aproximadamente unos 70 verbos. Si ustedes manejan estos verbos, pues ya pueden mantener una conversación normal con el presente perfecto, ¿ok? So we're going to practice pronunciation. Ready? 
Ok. Repeat after me. Eh, no sé si es muy pequeña la letra. ¿La alcanzan a ver? ¿Se alcanza a ver yeah, la letra? Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes okay, teacher. Good. No, please. Repeat after me. We're going to repeat the base form, la base del verbo, the simple past, la forma del pasado, and the past participle, la forma del pasado participio, que es la que vamos a usar en el presente perfecto, del pasado participio. Ok, now, please, repeat after me. Be, was, were, been. Become, became, become. Begin, begun, begun. Break, broke, broken. Bring, brought, brought. Build, built, built. Buy, bought, bought. Catch, caught, caught. Choose, chose, chosen. Come, came, come. Cost, cost, cost. Cut, cut, cut. Do, did, done. Draw, drew, drawn. Dream, dream, dreamed. Dream, dreamed. Drink, drank, drunk. Drive, drove, driven. Eat, ate, eaten. Fall, fell, fallen. Feed, fed, fed. Feel, felt, felt. Fight, fought, fought. Find, found, found. Fit, fit, fit. Fly, flew, flown. Forget, forgot, forgotten. Get, got, gotten. Give, gave, given. Go, went, gone. Grow, grew, grown. Have, had, had. Hear, heard, heard. Hit, hit, hit. Hold, held, held. Hurt, hurt, hurt. Keep, kept, kept. No, new, known. Leave, left, left. Let, let, let. Lose, lost, lost. Make, made, made. Mean, meant, meant. Meet, met, met. Pay, paid, paid. Put, put, put. Quit, quit, quit. Read, read, read. Ride, roll, ridden. Ring, rang, wrong. Rise, rose, risen. Run, ran, run. Say, said, said. See, so, seen. Sell, sold, sold. 
Sen, sen, sent. Shake, shook, shaken. Sing, sang, song. Sit, sat, sat. Sleep, slept, slept. Speak, spoke, spoken. Spend, spent, spent. Stand, stood, stood. Steal, stole, stolen. Swim, swam, swam. Take, took, taken. Teach, taught, taught. Tell, told, told. Think, thought, thought. Throw, threw, thrown. Understand, understood, understood. Wake up, woke up, woken up. Wear, wore, worn. Win, won, won. Write, wrote, written. Good. For more practice, please go to YouTube and copy irregular verbs. And then you're going to find some videos to practice the pronunciation of the verb, right? Good. Sorry, any extra question? Any question? Now, notice that some verbs are totally different. Algunos verbos son totalmente diferentes. La forma pasada y el pasado participio. Algunos tienen una forma igual, en el, en una forma diferente en el presente. Pero eh, es igual en el pasado y el pasado participio. Por ejemplo, bring, brought, brought. Okay? Build, 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 por ejemplo. Ok. Algunos que son parecidos y otros que son exactamente igual. ¿Sí? Good. Y en el caso de dream, por ejemplo, es un verbo regular, pero que también tiene una forma irregular. Por lo tanto, es un verbo irregular, ¿verdad? ¿Ok? Y pues, algunos, por ejemplo, en el caso de read, se escriben exactamente igual, pero la pronunciación es diferente. Read, read, read. Leí, leído, right? ¿Ok? Okay, now, so now let's go to questions. How to make yes, no question, right? So to make yes, no question, we, we, use, the, we use the auxiliary have, the subject, the past participle, and the compound, right? Have you checked your WhatsApp? ¿Han revisado el WhatsApp? No, no, claro. Claro que no, ¿verdad? Yo sé que nunca ven el WhatsApp. De aquí los fines de semana creo que lo ven. Jamás lo andan viendo. No, no. Okay. Yes, I have, right? Oh, no, I haven't. Notice that you don't say, yes, uh, yes, I am. <laughs> yes, I am. No. Yes, I do. No. Oh, yes, I checked. No, we use the auxiliary have in this case, right? Yes, I have. No, I haven't, right? Other one is, has she run in the stadium? Yes, she had. No, yes. I'm oh, sorry. Eh, nos equivocamos aquí en el she, pusimos he, pero ustedes saben que es she, ¿verdad? Yes, she has, no she hasn't. ¿Ok? Good. Now, for information question, we use the WH word, eh, the past participle, and then the complement. Where have your friend fish? Where? ¿A dónde han pescado tus amigos, right? What has he done? ¿Qué es lo que ha hecho él? ¿Qué es lo que has hecho, right? What has he done? Lately, últimamente, right? Lately. What has he done lately? ¿Qué es lo que ha hecho él últimamente? Okay, any questions so far? Ladies and gentlemen, questions? Teacher. Okay, Roberto. Mm? Teacher. Ajá. Eh... ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo estructuraríamos la respuesta de las preguntas de información? Ah, siempre usando la, el presente perfecto, 
Solo que contestando, lo que hacemos aquí es contestar el, el, la pregunta de, de WH Word. O sea, si nos dicen dónde, decimos dónde. Si nos dicen qué, decimos qué. Si nos dicen cuál, decimos cuál. Por ejemplo, aquí, ¿dónde han, han pescado sus amigos, verdad? Ellos han pescado en el río Lempa, por ejemplo, por decir algo, ¿verdad? They have fished in Lempa River. De, de acuerdo a cómo nos preguntan. Solo, solo termino en esto, permita. What has he done lately? ¿Qué es lo que ha hecho él últimamente? He has worked. Él ha estado trabajando, ¿verdad? Él ha estado trabajando, ¿sí? La esposa dice que no, pero él sí. Él ha estado trabajando, ¿verdad? Cómo sufrimos a veces nosotros, los esposos, ¿verdad? En fin. Yes. <laughs> ok. Good. Eh, esas serían las respuestas de acuerdo al... al al WH Word, ¿verdad? Así vamos a, a, a responder, pero no van a responder. Where have your friends fish? Eh, yes, they have. No, no, aquí no es así. Aquí es dónde, ¿verdad? Okay. ¿Qué? ¿Cuándo? ¿Por qué? ¿Con quién? Etcétera, etcétera. Right? Ok, por ahí había otra pregunta de una chica. ¿Quién estaba preguntando? Yes, teacher. Ana María, ok. And Marie, and Marie, please. Eh, cuando contestamos en la en la information question, mm -hmm. uh, we have used past participle. Yes, all the time. Siempre, siempre vamos al pasado participio y el auxiliar have and has. Siempre. Afirmativo, negativo, pregunta, respuesta. Solo la única ocasión en que eh, no vamos a usar el pasado participio en las respuestas cortas, ¿verdad? Pero siempre usamos el auxiliar, mire. Has, hasn't, haven't, have, ¿ves? ¿eh? Siempre se usa el auxiliar y siempre, eh, a excepción de las respuestas cortas, siempre va el auxiliar a la par del pasado participio, ¿verdad? Que en los verbos regulares ya, ya vimos que es ED y en los verbos irregulares es de guayabiárselo, de aprendérselo de memoria, ¿verdad? ¿Ok, Ana María? ¿Yes? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Okay, good. Thank you for your question. Now, any other question? Um, yo, teacher. Ok, Roberto, please tell me, Roberto. Um, el present perfect se pueden uh -huh. utilizar todas las WH word. O eh, hay alguna que no se ver, puede utilizar. Déjeme ver, quiero ver. Eh, fíjese que la única que creo, dudo, pero sí me parece algo lógica la pregunta, pero, sí. pero me, el, el when, porque como en el, en el presente perfecto, no, no estamos en tiempo específico, ajá. Mm, pero déjeme ver si sería algo lógico. ¿Cuándo has comido? I have eaten yesterday. Sí, quizás sí se podría usar. Mm. Pero eh, preferentemente eh, con el, we, el when es mejor usar el, pa, el pasado. Porque el pasado yeah. simple sí es específico con el, tiempo, con el tiempo, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, yo pregunto, ¿Where did you eat? Eh, no, ¿When did you eat? ¿Cuándo comiste? Entonces, yo creo que ahí en ese caso, gramaticalmente sí se podía, Roberto, pero eh, pienso que por lógica es mejor usar el pasado simple en este contexto, ¿verdad? Mm, ya, yeah, comprendo, gracias. De ahí los demás, sí, de ahí todos. Todos, ah, sí. ok. Eh, neces... ¿Quiere haber algún ejemplo? Um, Para que lo... ¿Lo sí, 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 va, hagámoslo entonces. Let's see some examples, right? Vamos a ver por acá. ¿Están viendo la pizarra todos? ¿Sí? Yes, sí, yes, sí, yes, sí, sí. Okay, yes, yes. yes. Si no ven algo ahí, me dicen, porque a veces se me olvida darle compartir, ¿verdad? Solo abro la pantalla. Vaya, entonces aquí podremos comenzar con WH Word, ¿verdad? Right? WH eh, Question, vamos a poner questions. With present perfect. Vale, comencemos con el, con el quién, ¿verdad? Who. Who has done the homework? ¿Quién ha hecho la tarea? Eh, vamos a poner que Juan Alfonso, ¿verdad? Right? Juan Alfonso. Qué responsable, ¿verdad? Juan Alfonso. Has done the homework. Ok. Who, right? Where? Where have 
you eaten lately? ¿Dónde has comido últimamente? I have eaten in good restaurants, right? He comido en buenos restaurantes. No, vamos a poner aquí fancy restaurant, right? Fancy, good restaurant, right? Obviamente estoy hablando de Rolando, ¿verdad? Porque nosotros no pasamos del pollo campero. Ahí, Hacienda ahí. Real. Hacienda Real. Ahí lo vi yo. Yo iba pasando, manejando, iba y lo vi que iba entrando. Ahí. ¿Qué es eso? ¿Qué es eso? Ahí solo, ahí solo desayuna nada más, ¿verdad? En otro restaurante va a la, a la cena. Ok, now. No, en where? Picasso. Ah, oh. En, en Picasso. Excuse me. Oh. Aquí sería when, por ejemplo, when have you... Uh, have they visited eh, Guatemala, por ejemplo? ¿Verdad? Este, sí, como digo, no, no tiene mucha lógica porque no se usa tiempo específico. Pero vamos a ver que estructuralmente sí, ¿verdad? De, ups, sorry, para quien me equivocamos. Visited. They have visited Guatemala. Uh, long time ago le vamos a poner para que no sea tan específico, ¿verdad? Eh, why have you done that? ¿Por qué me hiciste eso, verdad? Ok. Yo de este, de este estudiante me he hecho esta pregunta, ¿por qué nos hacen eso a nosotros, verdad? Si somos tan humildes. Y... Ok. <risa> <laughs> Why have you done that? Because, because hay uh, aquí como como respondemos con el presente perfecto. Uh, because I have um, yo había I have wanted. Yo había querido, ¿verdad? <laughs> I have wanted. Eh, ¿Cuál otra tenemos? Where, what, what have you uh, cooked? ¿Qué has cocinado, verdad? What have you cooked? I have cooked chicken. Pío, pío, right? Chicken. What, where, which, ¿cuál, verdad? Which have you chosen? ¿Cuál has escogido? Chosen. I have chosen, chosen, oh, wait, wait a minute, chosen is with double, no sé, es con, no sé si es con doble O, déjeme ver, chosen, Who's chose, chosen, si sí, es con doble O, ¿verdad? Si no, ya lo vamos a corregir. Ok, I have chosen eh, the red one, si no, después corrijo, creo que son dos O, chosen. Which have you chosen? Um, eh, why, when, how, how have you done, uh, how have you repair, repair the car? I have repaired the car watching YouTube, right? Es posible, ¿eh? créanme que, que a veces con cosas sencillas se puede usar tutoriales, ¿right? ¿Cuál tenemos? Uh, whom, ¿right? Que es el mismo who, pero como objetivo. Whom has he eh, eh, told that? ¿A quién le han contado eso, right? ¿A quién él le ha contado eso? He has told that to his brother. ¿A quién? Who is a quién, right? ¿Qué otra tenemos? Where, when, who. Teacher. Ajá, uh -huh, sorry. Who es a quién. A quién, es, es el objeto. Who es sujeto. Aquí, who. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sujeto, ¿verdad? Y who es objeto. Pero también, who puede ser objeto. Así. Hoy, en la gramática moderna, el who también es objeto, ¿verdad? 
pero uh -huh. para que ustedes si alguna vez lo ven en una oración, en un libro, pues, ¿y qué es eso de hum, verdad? Es, es uh -huh. el mismo hu, pero no como sujeto, sino como objeto, ¿verdad? ¿Sí? Ok. Ok, eh, veamos cuál me hace falta aquí. Why, we, eh, whose, whose, no, pero con whose creo que no se puede, porque es de quién, ¿verdad? ¿De quién? Whose. No, Jus creo que no se puede. Veamos, tiene que poderse. ¿De quién es esa, ca esa casa? Jus, this car, Who, this house, Jus. No, no se me ocurre ningún ejemplo. Vamos a dejarlo ahí en, el, en la cacerola, ¿verdad? Sí, ¿Y con what? Ah, ya estuvo, ya estuvo nada. Sí, con what ya estuvo. Solo el Jus creo que no, no se me ocurre porque es posesivo, ¿verdad? Who's eh, this car? No, 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 no se me ocurre, sorry. Ok, eh, Rod eh, Roberto, le contesto su pregunta ahí con estos ejemplos. Yes, teacher, thanks. Ah, sí, sí, Everything ¿verdad? Is clear. Se, puede yes. todo, ¿verdad? se puede con todo, solo el who's que no. Yes. Y déjeme, y déjeme ver aquí si el chosen lo he puesto bien. Ok, let me see. Aquí estamos. Eh, shoes, shows up. No, pues no, era con una O. Perdonen, ahí el spelling, ¿verdad? Era, era con una O. Yo puse con dos O, pero era chosen, con una O. ¿Ok? Good. So, do you have questions? Let me see. Ah, ya se nos fue la hora. Ok. Eh, aquí dice present continuo, pero es, es present perfect, ¿verdad? Ok, let me see. Vamos a ver los videos rapidito y eh, solo hacemos una práctica rápida con el presente perfecto. Rolando, please. Where have you studied? Me va a hacer una respuesta larga, Rolando. Where have you studied? I have studied in... El micrófono, Rolando, please. The microphone. Perdón. I have studied in in, in... Liceo Salvadoreño. In Liceo Canadiense. Liceo Canadiense. Oh, sé. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> al, al mar no le digo mar, le digo océano. Okay. Océano. Okay, please. Good. So, eh, Rolando has teacher, studied teacher. in Liceo Canadiense. Rolando has studied in the Liceo Canadiense, right? Yes? Yo respondo, I have. Uh -huh. I have studied. 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 Uh -huh. Siempre con I el have estar y el pasado participio, el presente participio, perdón. No, no, perdón, I have el pasado participio. In, no. I have I studied, have in, studied in, in Liceo Canadiense. Liceo, too. Yes. All right. Janari, have... Have they relaxed? It's a yes, no question, right, Yanari? Yes, yes, so, yes. Have they relaxed? Yes, they, yes, they have. Excellent, yes, they have. Juan Alfonso, what have they cooked? Juan Alfonso? Y luego es que hay más que no va what, el qué, el qué han cocinado, right? They, they cook. No, they have. They have cooked. Cook. Uh, what? They lasaña. Have lasaña. Okay, delicious, right? Now, Roberto, please. Has she moved to a new house? Uh, yes, she has. Excellent. Ana Maria and Marie, where have they played? They have played football. No, oh, where, 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 where? where? Uh, they have uh, in a... They have played? They have played... In, in Cuscatlan Stadium. Okay, excuse me, right? La Casa de la Alianza, excuse me. 
<laughs> okay. Rodrigo, have we gotten the money? Yes, we have gotten the money. Yes, we have gotten them. Oh, yes, we have, right? Excellent. Thank you, Rodrigo. It's not, it's not true, but... No, it's not true. No yet, right? Algunos hasta el 27, 28 le va a caer. Guárdenlo, o ya lo tienen vendido. <laughs> ya está vendido, ¿verdad? Desde noviembre está vendido ese aguinaldo. <laughs> the Christmas bonus. In English you say aguinaldo, Christmas bonus. Christmas bonus. In English, right? Ya está vendido. Creo que desde octubre lo vendimos. <laughs> ok, y, Silvia. Uh -huh. Y ya cayó la rata, ¿cómo se dice en inglés? <laughs> they, they have already paid. They have already paid. Ya pagaron, right? They have already paid. Pero debe haber alguna expresión. No creo que los gringos no, en inglés no podamos decir algo como decimos en español, ¿verdad? <laughs> ok. Good. Now, Silvia, please. Has he bought a car? Uh, yes, he has. Yes, he has. Very good. Hilda, Hilda, when have they exercised? When have they exercised? When have they? When have they exercised? They have exercised in the weekend. Okay, good. On the weekend. Aquí está otra respuesta para eh, Roberto, ¿verdad? Mire, aquí hay when. Sí es contradictorio porque la, no podemos usar eh, tiempo específico, pero tiempos generales creo que podemos usar, ¿verdad? Ok, con when. And now, eh, who's next? Victor, please. Has the cat slept? Meow, meow. Yet it has. Yet it has. Yes, it has, right? Ok. Good. Very good. Ok, nos vamos a la plataforma. Ya nos comió el tiempo. Ok, vamos a ver los videos. Ok. The conversation. Listen, please. Um, teacher, um, no, no, okay, good. Uh -huh. No se ve, verdad? No se ve. No, okay. wait, wait a minute, sorry. <laughs> also, also, wait, wait a minute. Permítame un segundo que ya estamos aquí. Compartir. Y hoy sí, creo que ahí podemos. Sorry. Listen and practice a conversation between two people in New Orleans. See present perfect in context. Listen and practice. It's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? Uh, I've already done that, too. Have you ridden in a streetcar? They're a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Okie dokie. Now, let's watch the grammar, the present perfect with already, ya, and yet, ya, pero negativo, right? Let's listen and watch, please. Time. I have worked hard. Lesson we will study present perfect with already and yet. Ask and answer questions in present perfect with irregular and regular past participles. I want you to concentrate on this new tense. Notice how it is formed. Pay close attention to the words already and yet. Present perfect. Already, yet. The present perfect is formed with the verb have plus the past participle. Have you been to a jazz club? Yes, I've been to several. 
No, I haven't been to one. Has she ridden in a streetcar? Yes, she's ridden in one. No, she hasn't ridden in one. Has he called home lately? Yes, he's called twice this week. No, he hasn't called in months. Have they eaten dinner yet? Yes, they've already eaten. No, they haven't eaten yet. Contractions I've equals I have. You've equals you have. He's equals he has. She's equals she has. It's equals it has. We've equals we have. They've equals they have. Haven't equals have not. Hasn't equals has not. For present perfect, we will use have or has plus past participle verb plus complement. The verb have or has will depend on the person we will talk about. We use present perfect when we want to express actions which began in the past and continue in the present. Example, she has worked in the bank for five years. We have had the same car for 10 years. When we want to make reference to an unfinished temporary period of time, I have worked hard this week. It has rained a lot this year. We haven't seen her today. Repeated actions in a specific period of time between the present and the past. They have seen that film six times. We have eaten all that restaurant many times. When timing is not relevant or it is unknown. Someone has eaten my soup. Now let's talk about already and yet. Already usually goes after have or has and before the main verb. Examples, we have already had our breakfast. When are you going to do your homework? But I've already done it. Yet means that something that we expected has happened or hasn't happened. We usually put it at the end of a sentence. Examples, has the post arrived yet? Have you done your homework? Not yet. Haven't you got ready yet? Look at the time. We use yet in negative and in questions. And we use already in affirmative, right? Good. And uh, it means to give emphasis, para darle emphasis en que ha pasado algo o no ha pasado algo ya, right? Simple like that. Good. And yet puede usar, ser usado al principio, en medio o al final. Pero normalmente va al final. ¿Ok? Good. Lo mismo con already. Puede usar, a ver, se puede usar al principio, en medio o al final. Pero normalmente va eh, uh, después del sujeto. Right? Veamos acá, quiero ver si se puede. No yet. Haven't you got ready yet? Yet okay. means that something that we expect we've already done it. Okay. We have already had. Va entre el auxiliar y el verbo en, en eh, pasado participio, ¿verdad? Okay. Good. Eh, sorry for the time. Se nos acabó el tiempo. Eh, si tienen alguna pregunta, mañana vamos a seguir viendo y vamos a hacer una práctica. Les voy a enviar el dibujo o al grupo o le tomamos una captura durante la clase para que hagamos un ejercicio juntos en, en, en grupo, ¿verdad? Para mañana. Ok, thank you very much. Have a good night. God bless you. God bless you. Good night. 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 Good night.